Hi, how are you doing? Okay, let me tell you something very curious about Adriana Le Couvreur. The funny thing about this opera is that the people that hear it for the first time immediately become fans. I wondered why, but I think I have some answers to this question. Just follow me. The first answer is right here, behind me. These are the curtains of this set, exactly the same with Adriana Le Couvreur, because what we see is the life of an actress, is a play within a play, but there is more. With Adriana Le Couvreur, it's extraordinarily easy to follow the leitmotifs. For example, this is the leitmotif of Adriana. And this leitmotif becomes a huge melody in the aria Io son l'umiliancella of the first act. Got it? In fact, all the sopranos have wanted to play the role of Adriana, the great Renata Tevaldi, Magda Olivero, Montserrat Caballé, or Renata Scotto. All of them. It's a very satisfying role. And who will be singing here at the Liceo? The fantastic voice of Barbara Fritton. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We're back in 1902. The year the opera was first performed, and what we're hearing is the voice of Enrico Caruso, the first Mauricio, and at the piano Francesco Cilea himself, amazing. To sing the role of Mauricio, you need a real spinto tenor who can sing this piece, non più nobile, but also the famous aria of the second act, L'Anima Ostanca. Of course, Mauricio is in love with Adriana, but you know this is an opera, so it's going to be a very, very complicated life. There are two things to remember. The first is that this opera is basically a struggle between two women who allow themselves to be carried away by jealousy. The other is that this is poor Verismo, is 100% real. There was a real Adriana Lecouvreur and there was a real Mauricio the grandfather of Chopin's lover, George Sand. To finish the last phrase, Adriana sings before she dies, Ecco la luce. With this phrase, Adriana dies by poison exactly the same way that the real Adriana died. That's what I tell you, that these characters are so believable. In fact, I think all of us deserve an opera. So you know, a play within a play, confrontation between two women, gorgeous melodies, and a story that doesn't just seem real, it is real. That's what I tell you. When you hear the story, when you hear the opera for the first time, you will immediately fall in love with it. I'm sure. So, see you at the Liceo.